I'm here with Mark Chalmers from Energy Fuels. Where, where can we start? Record annual uh, net income of nearly 100 million. That seems like a good starting point. Tracy, that's a great starting point. And, and you know, our company, Energy Fuels, is different than just about any other company out there because uh, we're first and foremost a uranium producer and we're profitable. Um, but on top of that, as we're um, expanding and, and advancing our uranium plans, we're bolting on rare earths at a, at a really um, uh, enviable pace. So, so I, I think it's just a unique story because you normally invest in uranium or you invest in rare earths and with energy fuels, you get both. You know, the government keeps announcing new uh, mandates for investing in critical, critical mineral supply chain, but you're already producing the uranium. You've already got the goods. Can you give us a bit of an update on the uranium? Yeah, um, we've um, restarted uh, three mines. Uh, we're, we're, we're mining right now. Uh, you know, we, we, we sold the Alta Mesa project that, that helped contribute a lot to that $100 million of, of net income. Uh, so, you know, we've got uranium contracts, we've, we've hired geologists, we've hired process engineers. So we're really going for it on uranium. And the biggest differentiator for us over others in the uranium business, we got assets that can go into production right now and can produce right now. We don't need hundreds of millions of dollars of capital because that capital has already been spent and we're debt free. Well, not only are you debt free, and you can already produce the uranium, you're also moving into rare earths, which of course everybody is talking about. You want to give us an update? Yeah, and, and you know, when we're in the rare earths and processing monazite, we're also recovering uranium. So uh, you know, earlier in 2023, we closed on the Bahia project. We have a non-binding MOU with Astron in Victoria, Australia that um, we're doing due diligence on right now. It's going very well. Uh, and we have our uh, phase one separation plant that we'll start commissioning this month at White Mesa up to about a thousand tons of NDPR processing capacity. Uh, and again, we're doing that in the back of the uranium business. So can you tell us what you're really doing at PDAC, Mark? <laughs> what am I doing at PDAC? I'm actually off of an airplane. So that is where it's really nice to be off of an airplane uh, we've been, we've never worked harder. I've been in this business, the uranium business for 48 years. I have never been busier. I've never had bit more deal flow and I've never had, uh, the financial strength that energy fuels has now with over $250 million of uh, cash or liquid, um, cash or investments. Uh, and we've never been stronger. I'm going to ask you what I know everybody wants me to ask you, which is what's happening with the uranium market, Mark? Well, it's, it's certainly on fire right now. I mean, I never thought that people would be uh, disappointed if the price uranium was 94, 95, but a lot of people saw that, you know, spot price went up to, you know, 105, 106, it's pulled back a bit. But there's, there are companies out there like Energy Fuels that can do really well you know, with these uranium prices as they are right now. Um, you know, the, the, the real question is, is what does the future hold? There is a shortage out there. There is a, a lack of ability for companies to respond. Uh, energy fuels can respond. And for the reasons I said, we don't need a lot of capital. We're ready to go right now. And um, so we're going to make hay, like big time, right now in the uranium business. And we're going to keep uh, the rare earth sector uh, strategy moving along at a rapid pace at the same time. With everything that's happening with energy fuels, what should investors be looking forward to? I mean, what should they be prioritizing and being excited about in the next quarter or two? Look at our news flow. Look at the fact that we're selling uranium. Look at the fact that we're building a company to be profitable and sustainable for the long haul. I mean, we're a company of, of doers and, 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 and taking actions that we back up by actually executing those actions. So, I mean, I think when you look at us, um, just look at a company that's, that's, that's focused on building a long-term sustainable critical mineral hub like nobody else. Well, Mark, as always, it's such a pleasure. Thank you for joining us today.
Thank you, Tracy. It's always a pleasure.